Hey guys, we're back. Uh, in this episode, we are going to look at how you get around in the viewport. How do you move the camera that you are actually looking through uh, as an observer? So uh, we're here in Cinema 4D again, and I'm going to show you one thing. Um, it's how to make a cube. So you're going to click this cube button here, and it makes a cube. Really easy, right? Um, we'll go over all this stuff in more detail. It's all very simple, honestly, but don't worry about it for now. So what you're going to do is, uh, at least on the Mac, uh, you're going to hold Alt. Okay, this is the first step. You're going to hold Alt. And you are going to left click and drag. And for me, I'm using a Wacom tablet. But if you're using a mouse, you're going to left click and drag. So holding Alt or, or Option, uh, left clicking and dragging does something called orbiting. And orbiting is essentially um, moving the camera around this point in space. You can see this little plus sign there. As I move the mouse up and down, I kind of go above and below it. And if I move the mouse left and right, this is again holding Alt, holding left click and dragging the mouse, uh, I'm rotating around an object and that is called orbiting. Uh, the tricky thing about orbiting in Cinema 4D, at least in the default navigation uh, style, is that wherever your mouse is, that is where you're going to orbit around. So say I want to orbit on this corner up here, that's what's happening. If I want to orbit from this corner down here, um, same thing. If I want to orbit from the center, that's cool. If I orbit from over here, it does it from the center of the screen. Whatever is in the middle of the screen is going to orbit from. You can um, then from there, what you're going to do is you're going to hold Alt again. So for all of these, we're holding Alt and Option on the Mac. Uh, if you hold Alt and you hold Middle Mouse button, so for me on the pen, it's um, a button assigned to Middle Mouse button. Your your third button, I think. So like the wheel. If you push the wheel in on your mouse. Um, it would be nice if you had a three button mouse. If you don't, uh, I'll show you the other way of doing it. So hold Alt, hold middle mouse button, and what you're going to do is this is called panning. And this isn't like panning a tripod. So this is 3D panning. I wish it wasn't called panning. Uh, there's, it's not really the right term for it. But uh, anyway, so again, holding Alt, left click and drag. We're orbiting. And then say I want this to be on the top of the screen. Holding Alt, holding middle mouse button, we're panning. So I'm moving around. So, so practice these things. See if you can get around this object using those, um, those two controls. Uh, middle mouse, left mouse, middle mouse, left mouse. And the last one is called dollying. Now this is not zooming. We're not zooming the focal length of this virtual camera. We are actually physically moving the camera um, towards and away from objects. So you probably guessed it. Middle mouse and, um, I'm sorry, alt and right click if you hold it. Uh, dollies the camera back and forth. So between, uh, you hold Alt, you left click like this, you middle click, and you right click. Really take the time, if this is your first time in Cinema 4D uh, or any 3D program, really just spend like an hour, <laughs> as much time as you really have to do this, uh, to get familiar with it, to get comfortable, because this is something you're going to be doing an awful lot. And it's a good investment because these transport controls, uh, you basically use them in any 3D program. So if you ever want to get into like uh, game development, VR development, uh, in Unity, Unreal Engine, uh, any of those 3D programs, um, Maya eventually use the same exact controls. So it's it's worthwhile investing in that if you want to be working in 3D in any way, shape, or form in the future. And of course, for Cine Designer, obviously it's in 3D, very important. Uh, the last thing I want to show you uh, in this little tutorial is that you can do all these things up here. So if you grab this button, you just click and hold it, you're panning. If you click and hold it, you're zooming. If you click and hold it, you're orbiting. So say you're on like a laptop or something and you don't have, um, you only have one mouse button, you can do all those things from there. It's kind of a pain, but uh, you can 100% do that. So that is uh, it for this tutorial. Uh, that is how you get around the transport. Again, holding Alt, left click is orbit, middle middle click is pan, uh, right click is dollying in and out. Uh, really take the time to get used to that. And if you already know 3D and this is like brand new to you, uh, just know that where you put your cursor, where you put the mouse, when you activate that control, uh, Cinema 4D is watching that. So you're gonna orbit around the thing you have your mouse over and you're gonna zoom in towards the thing um, that your mouse is over. And actually, I find that useful, but you can turn that off. And maybe I'll go over that um, in a more advanced tutorial, but I would really stick with the, the basic. I'm trying to keep this Cinema 4D as stock as possible, so it doesn't need you. You don't have to do a lot of uh, settings changes and that sort of thing. So that's going to wrap it up for this, uh, this tutorial. Next time, we're going to look at 
selecting objects, which is really important too. And Cinema 4D has its own quirks and ways that it does it. You should get to know it. So I'll see you guys on the next episode.